Hello, it's Justin speaking to you from my balcony in Stockholm, Sweden, where I have a very nice view of the city because I'm staying in the city center and life is normal. So I'll show you that if you want to see the view here. It's very nice. Okay, so let's get into the video. So I want to talk about the Apple stock split that's going to happen next Monday. July the 30th, Apple announced that it'll do a four for one split with the Apple stock. So each Apple stock will be split into four. And this has generated a lot of trading in the last few weeks because of it, because Apple stock is actually quite expensive. Right now it's around 500. When it was announced, it was about $384 per share. And that's quite a lot. So if you split the stock, it'll be more accessible to smaller investors and individual investors, especially at this time with the rise of trading platforms like Webull and Robinhood, a lot of trading platforms are becoming more popular with everyday people. And over there, you can buy any stock you want that's being traded and it's being accessible to m normal people. And it's just becoming more democratized because more people are investing, more people have access to in investing platforms and more people are buying stocks. So when you split the stock, you're going to make it more accessible. So more people will buy the stock and beat up the price. And that is why the price has gone so high since Apple announced that it will do the four for one split. So on July the 30th, Apple stock was about $385 per share. Now it's already more than $500 per share. And that is quite insane because everyone knows what's going to happen. Everyone knows that the split shares will be more accessible so more people can buy it and beat up the price. But personally, I think that the fact that Apple is splitting its stock should not justify your investment decision, especially now and after the stock split. Maybe in the beginning, if you got there early, it could justify it if you got there very early because you know that it's going to be more accessible and more investors can beat up the price. But right now, the price has already gone up from 385 to $500. So I think that is more than enough to make up for the increased access that Apple stock will have. And honestly, $385 isn't that bad for a share of Apple stock. Plenty of people have enough to spare. Not that everyone has that much to spare, but now it's 500 And once you split it into four, it'll be a fourth of that price or supposed to be. The theory is that it'll be beat up even more because more people can buy it, but it has already been beat up since the announcement. So I think that the stock split itself should not justify your investment decision. And if you're not aware of how stock splits work, when you start with an Apple share, you own a certain percentage of the company. And after the Apple share is split into four, all those four shares will still be representing the same percentage ownership of the company as you had before. The difference is now you have four different shares instead of one share, but altogether they mean the same thing. So it really should not matter. And I think that if you justify your decision from just the stock split at this time or after the stock split, it's not a very good idea because of the fact that it has already been beat up, even though it is true that more people will have access to it and beat up the price. It has already been beat up, beat up because of that since the announcement, because a lot of people are thinking like that. So me personally, I would not buy Apple stock because of the stock split. I will not use the stock split as a justification for buying Apple stock. However, this does not mean you shouldn't buy Apple stock or you should sell Apple stock or it's a bad idea to hold Apple stock. 
It's just that the stock split itself shouldn't factor in to into your decision at this time. Although it could factor in if you are thinking of selling it because you think it's overpriced because of the frenzy of trading or whatever for price reasons. But I think the stock split itself shouldn't be really factored in. You should really be thinking about the fundamental value of the company and looking at the company fundamentals. And maybe the fact that the price has been beat up so much means that now it's overvalued than what it should actually be. And that would be justification to sell. Or maybe you think that Apple stock is still worth much more than that, or maybe just simply more than that. And there are articles online. I'm looking at one from Barron's that says Apple stock is soaring ahead of its stock split. True. But its future is still bright. You could still say that Apple is worth investing because of the fundamentals of the company, even though the price has been beat up so much. Or you can say because the price has been beat up so much, Apple is now overvalued. I am not currently invested in Apple, so I'm not researching the company fundamentals at the moment. I might do that in the future and make a video about it if you want. But you should not use the stock split to justify buying or selling the Apple stock. You should look at the company fundamentals, look at the price, which, yes, has been affected by the stock split, and then decide on your investment decision. So that is my thinking, and I don't think that you should follow the herd mentality when it comes to investing because usually that can be quite dangerous so thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out follow me on instagram where you can dm me and follow me on tiktok where i make short videos about the same topics i talk about on youtube i also write articles on medium about the same topics i talk about on youtube so follow me on that as well and if you are a new investor or you're looking for more investment platforms, you could check out Webull, which I personally use. So there's a link in the description where you can get two free stocks from Webull, which is a pretty great deal just by depositing $100. So click on the link, set up a Webull account and start trading. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.